Hello and welcome back to this episode of painting, OP painting. We will be painting the Redemptor Dreadnought in the Imperial Fist colors. So let's get started. First off, we will use a uh, Vallejo paint. We will use the orange and yellow paints and mix them together to give us a nice base coat. Then we can highlight up from that. Now we will use yellow to highlight the raised areas working down from the to the shadows so we will use yellow and then we will mix white with yellow to add extreme highlights to the edit edges and carry on that great carry on that transition we'll now create all the mechanical parts in silver and then we will give it a wash of none oil once it's dried We'll use a wash, Cassandra yellow, to just go over the rivets, to just bring out more details and over the little grooves we have in the armor. I will move on to the pipes, which we will undercoat with Abaddon black, and then use red color to paint the pipes. You can use any color you want, uh, just red for now, and just painting over them, giving them a base coat of simple block color. With the jewel, we're just giving it a base coat of red, followed by orange beneath, and then followed by a yellow. We're just creating a line at the bottom, and then we'll use white to just add the dot at the top to give an impression of a shine. Moving on to the gun, we'll just give it a base coat of Abaddon black, so that we have something to work for, work with when it comes to the metallics. So just evenly coat Abaddon black around by masking off with blue tack the armor area. Once the black undercoat is dry, just give it a dry brush of silver by taking some silver and wiping it off on the tissue and then just applying it randomly, covering all of the gun. Moving on to the Imperial badge, we'll just give this a base coat of gold and then a wash of nun oil. The mini missiles we'll have on the Dreadnought will be just base coated black and red paint applied to it is block colors again we're just keeping this very simple with block red colors and for the rust we'll use rhinox oxide with some sponge from a blister pack our packaging and then we'll just dab it on and wipe off any access and then we'll go over all the corners and edges just lightly dabbing this is a great way to give a rustic effect and it works really well so just carry on around the whole model and just dab slowly and around the corners and for the base, this is a technique I use just to see where the feet are, so there's no sand underneath there. So I just paint around it to give me an idea of where the feet are. And then after that, I will apply a PVA glue. And once that's all covered, I will get sand and pour it over and then press it down slightly and then take off all the excess and just neaten it up slightly. When that's dry, I will add PVA glue to some slate and put it wherever you feel. And then I will just uh, let that dry and spray undercoat it black, Vallejo black undercoat. And when that's dry, I dry brush it gray, dark gray, then mix white to that gray to give the extreme highlights. And then I will add my grass or what have you. So although this model will not win awards, it will get your tabletop standard ready and paint it to a decent standard and uh, you can get your models painted really quickly this way so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please like and subscribe as this will uh, grow my channel and i will continue to create more simple tutorials to get your armies out there quick and looking at a good standard thank you